Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. Um, I just want to say I was so excited to let you guys see my new intro for Halloween. I was going to post a video the other day, but my videos got to got delayed. I'll get more into that later. But for today's video, Double Dip sent me over some of their new powders. I seen another content creator use them and then I reached out to Double Dip to see if they could send it to me. That's just how much I ended up loving them. And this is only a few. I do believe they sent me like five. This is not the entire collection of these. Um, but I will have the link linked down below. And also Bella Vina, which is also double dip, they sent me over these gel liners and they do have a special promotion for them. This collection is so perfect for the fall time and also Christmas because as you can see, like the colors, we have some glitters, like some hollow glitters, greens, blues, brown, oranges, and reds. Um, this is what the back looks like. Feel free to pause and read if you would like to. But for this particular one, I'm not going to open it just because I already have one. And I may do something special with this one. So for the swatches, I'm just going to grab the other one that I have. And I'm just going to swatch those for you because I want to keep the new ones closed. So yeah, this is the one. And as you can see, it's literally the exact box. And so yeah, I actually may give the one that I received in a giveaway. Let me know if I should do a separate giveaway or just include it into my 50,000 subscriber giveaway. But yeah, I barely used the first one, so I don't need a second collection. So I want to give that away to one of you guys. Just let me know if I should do a separate giveaway for it or include it in my 50,000 subscriber giveaway. So this is what they look like. It comes with 12 different gels. And what I love about this is that all of the colors have a really pretty glitter to pair with it. And I'm just going to be showing you what the bottles look like um, and the swatches. Like I said, I will be swatching these. So this is number one, and this is how the bottle looks. I love the Bella Vina packaging. It's just like so simple, and it's just so simple and easy, but it's also very pretty. This is number two. It's like a silver glitter. Then we have number three, which is a really pretty glitter hollow. four which is a green like i said these are perfect for the fall time and also christmas and to go with that green we have a really pretty glitter green really pretty olive color then number six we have a really pretty blue and i'm not gonna like keep saying the colors of them because you can see them i'm just gonna let this part play out but like i said these do have a special promotion going on so you can use code key 50 at checkout on any particular set of gel liners um i do believe they have like three choices not just these you can select any one you want and you can use code key 50 to save 50 percent off and yeah if you're interested make sure to go ahead and check it out because 50 percent off is a excellent deal Now for the swatches, I just wanted to swatch them on the end of a swatch stick. Um, I seen the first person I seen do th do this was Casey Nails, and I just thought it was so smart instead of trying to do like little lines on the actual swatch stick. So I just love nail content creators like mines and just creativity. Cause honestly, I would have never thought to do this. So that's just how I'm going to be swatching these gel liners, just really quickly. I don't want to waste too much time because this video is a longer one. And once I cured both of them, this is what it looks like. And this is in order from 1 to 12. Um, yeah, these colors are very, very pretty. Like I said, they are perfect for the fall time, the Christmas. Um, you can use some colors for Halloween. Um, I know I will try to incorporate as much nail art into October as I can. 
Like I said, if you are interested, you can save 50% with the special promotion using code KEY50 on any set of gel liners that you would like. I will leave the link down below. Now jumping into the 2-in-1 dip in acrylic powders. So like I said, they did send me 5 of their powders from their new collection and I'm just going to be showing you and swatching them to show you what they look like. These were my absolute favorite. They have a ton of glitter so if you love glitter like me, this will be perfect powders for you to use. And they are 2-in-1 so if you are into dip powder, you can use them as dip. Or if you use acrylic more, you can also just use any monomer. Double Dip also has some monomer on their website. I have yet to try it, but I have seen Nail by Brandy use it. And she says it works pretty good with the powders. So if you want to try that one instead, you can also purchase that one on the website. Um, yeah, these are the colors and I'm going to be showing you what they look like up close. This one was really, really pretty because it has like really pretty purple reflectiveness. Like these glitters are just absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, we're just going to be swatching, swatching them, show you guys what they look like. So these are not in the same order as before because I ended up doing the swatches like two days later and then also I did the nail set like the day after and then I had to redo it but like I said I'll get more into that later but for now I'm just going to be swatching the colors and showing you guys what they look like and just in case a lot of you are interested I am using my low order monomer from Not Polish. I use this monomer it is universal so i end up using it with all of my powders unless i'm trying a specific monomer from that brand um one thing i did notice about these glitters like as you can see this one was really really hard to pick up and i think it's just because it had a lot of bigger glitters in them i do find that when a powder has really big glitters or not enough powder base it kind of makes it a little bit hard or it makes it feel like you're just picking up glitter or it could have been that I drank my brush too much. I'm not really sure, but this one kind of also did the same. But I did eventually pick it up and swatched it. So these are what the colors look like. Super, super pretty. Like I said, if you love glitter, you would love these powders. And especially if you want to get into dip or acrylic powders, I think these would be very, very nice for you to start with. And you can save 20% off the website, not just the gel liners. You can use code Nails by Key 20 on any powders or poly gel or anything like that. So for the second time, I am applying the same tips. These are the Stiletto from Secret Nail Affair. I think these are my favorite stiletto tips just because they are so perfectly shaped. Once I apply them, I don't have to do any shaping and filing. I just go straight in with my application. I will have these linked down below. I do not have a code for Secret Nail Affair, but I really do love their products of what I have so far. So I'm taking this 2-in-1 dip in acrylic powder from the car in the shade Noir. I believe I'm saying that right, um, which is a black powder. I'm just going to be starting off by creating um, the start of my design. I haven't mentioned, but I am going to be recreating a set from Maria Bello from Instagram. When I seen this, I had to recreate. And these are going to be some like 3D ghost lava lamp nails. And like I said, I did have to redo this set because the first one I did, um, it didn't really come out right. And like her nails just look so good. I wanted to kind of just make mine look a little bit better. But yeah, this is my second time creating or filming this video. And I kind of learned a lot from the first set. Um, I did keep the footage of my first nail set because I wanted to like show you guys the difference. Um, so the first time I created these nails, it was very cold in my nail room. And as you know, the um, monomer, like when it's cold, it takes a very long time to set and it just becomes like very, very runny. So that was my problem. And I decided to plug in a little bit of footage from my first try. So as you can see in the lower left corner, um, for what I'm trying to do, this was so, so runny. Um, one thing I will say about this black powder is that it's really, really smooth and I feel like it's very easy to work with. Um, but for what I was trying to do, I did not need it to be that runny. Um, and it just ran right into my cuticles. So I ended up adding a little bit of acetone in there. As you know, like there's a little trick where if you need your powder to set a little bit faster, you add a few drops of acetone in there. 
and even in like the second one I'm doing now I did still have to add a few drops because it wasn't setting up fast enough and even on my second try of the first set like it still was so so runny and also the second go around it wasn't cold in here like I had a heater on I cut it on like a little bit before I started just to kind of warm up the room and then I cut it off so that the powders wouldn't dry too fast in the process of me using them but as you can see I did add a little bit more acetone than I did the first try and then I also let the powder sit on the brush a little bit and as you can see it is starting to set up just a little bit better and it's a lot easier to work with because I'm trying to like create the outline of the lava lamp. It was so much easier to work with. I'm just trying to make that line as crisp as I can because I didn't file these like I did the first time. Once I let them dry, um, I did kind of file and kind of clean up the line, but I wanted to just go in with my glitter this time. So yeah, that's it on my first try. It was terrible. Like the process was just all over the place to the point where it made me hate the, well not hate the nails, but I just didn't really like the nails as much. There's also other things that I did change the second go around. I'll get more into that whenever like I'm in the process of doing it because I, like I said, I did keep the footage of my last set and I just wanted to plug it in to show you guys the difference and how much it changed and just like me learning from that experience. So I'm just going to be doing this over all of my nails. That's also one thing I did change. On my first set, I did only do like three lava lava lamp nails i did it on my pointer my middle and my pinky and on my ring and thumb i did like full co full coverage glitters and this go around i just wanted them to be all lava lamps like maria bello um so yeah this black powder is like so pigmented the second little dish that i brought out is just acetone um I wanted to like kind of clean off my brush in the acetone instead of dipping it back into my monomer and making my monomer dirty because as you see like once I finish with this black powder that acetone is going to be so dark and dirty monomer can affect the way your applica your application applies so if it's dirty you might want to go ahead and change your monomer if you notice your powder isn't setting right or your application is like not really right. One of the causes could be that your monomer is too dirty so that's just why i set that there i did keep the first nail in real time but as you can see i am starting to speed up a little bit because i don't want to have like everything in real time it would take entirely too long so i'm just speeding up the rest of the nails i do believe i am going to be showing two more i believe and then we'll get into adding in the middle glitter and this set was so fun to create like i just love seeing other nail techs creativity it's just so amazing to me to like see what people can create like nails like i've been seeing like the 3d butterfly wings that nail that long hair pretty nails recreated from i believe her name is carla did it um i want to recreate those but maybe i'll make it halloween edition i'm not sure but i do want to recreate those and try because it looks so fun and also because i want to try to get into sculpting nails because recently i have purchased some like really 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 long nail forms so I want to try those and I just want to try to do like a really fun set without um, showing you guys new products or promoting anything. But yeah, that's just what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my nails of what I show. One thing about this powder is that it's really, really, really pigmented. If you really want a really jet black powder, this is the one you need. Like it just becomes so, so smooth. And also I do feel like this is not a build up powder. Like I do feel like you would just have to use this for the color and then encapsulate. Um, just the way I felt like it would work. I feel like it would take forever trying to build up the nail with this black. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this last nail that I'm going to show. And then I'll be back in a few seconds.
so while i finish up this last nail i'm going to be showing you guys i did want to mention that i created two intros i wasn't sure which one to use so i made like alternate on which one like the two i made the first one was the orange one with the little scary pumpkin laugh or whatever and the second one is just like a really simple bat one so on my next video you will see a new intro and i would like you guys to like just let me know which one you like better as you can see here i did go ahead and finish up all of my lava lamp outlines and this is what it looks like and this looks really really cool like just having my like this looks so cool like i don't know why but i like this so like I said, I didn't um, file the lines like I did in my first one. I just went straight in with the glitter. One thing I also did change about my first set is that I did change the glitter color. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I wanted to change it because I kind of felt like the blue was kind of clashing. And I just felt like you couldn't really see it in the pictures. I couldn't get good pictures. So I just decided to change the color to a lighter color and hope for the best. And also as you saw like on the um finished nail that i just showed you there was like glitter on the black parts and maria bello she put like little glitters on the black part so that's why i did it for the first one but i felt like i didn't really like it on mine just because like i didn't have like the same glitter that she had so i just went with the best thing or what i could find that would kind of mimic it and i didn't really like how it looked so i just ended up not putting the glitters on the black part for my second set and i absolutely love how it turned out even more but i'm just taking this glitter and i'm just filling in the middle part i'm not going to make it too too thick because i will have to do like some 3d ghosts and then also still encapsulate so make sure if you do recreate this make sure that you are keeping this layer very thin just to kind of give it like that lava lamp 3d effect and also so remember when i did swatch these colors i'm not sure if this one i have two colors that's like this so i'm not sure if this is the one or not but for the application of the glitters i did try to make sure that i try to avoid the bigger pieces so that it wouldn't be as hard to um, apply and encapsulate so i did try to go for the smaller pieces as you can see i kind of dip in like the tip of my brush and just pick up the smaller ones but this powder is jam packed with glitters so it was kind of hard to avoid like the bigger pieces altogether. Um, so like I said, if you do like glitters, they these would be really, really perfect for you to use. And I just want to say, if you are still watching and you are enjoying the video so far, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. I'm getting really, really close to 50,000 subscribers and I'm really ready. Super excited to be announcing the giveaway for my 50,000 subscrib subscribers. Like, I just feel like that's such an achievement. One or two years ago, if you had told me I would have a nail YouTube channel with nearly 50,000 subscribers, I most likely wouldn't believe you because like that is just so crazy. Like, I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. But yeah, if you are new, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and also turn on my post notifications so that you get notified each time I upload a video. So now I'm done adding in the middle of my lava lamps. This is what it looks like. So, so cute. Honestly, like I love it just like this. If I was just to like go encapsulate, I would like these nails. But just like last video, I'm going to be taking this 3D nail brush. 
I got this from Amazon. If I can find it, I'll try to link it down below at my Amazon storefront. Um, it's not the best quality, but, but it works. So that's just what I'm going to be using to create my little 3D ghost. And for my first attempt, I did not use this powder. Um, I actually used some not polished powder, but I wanted to try this white acrylic powder 3D French. This is like perfect for um, like 3D nail art, but I did try some off camera on my thumb and I did not like it. So I just went back to the purple white from not polished. The reason why I use this is because it glow in the dark. So since it's like Halloween, I feel like it would look so cute in the dark of the little ghost is glowing. And also to give it kind of like a really pretty like lava lamp effect and so i just went in using that not polished powder using my 3d brush to pick up really really small beads to create my ghost and this part was so tedious it was actually very, very difficult so i just want to give it up for maria bella like she made these look so easy in her design i just couldn't really get it right or like it was very difficult to do just trying to make it look like hers hers also have like a very like wispy kind of effect on her goals and i just couldn't figure out how she did it um like i said these are done on totally different days so once i was finished with my index nail i actually had to look at her picture again to kind of get a reference and i do think they started to come out a little bit better than what i was doing originally before i looked at her picture again and she is so so talented like she has so many different nail sets that I want to create um I've been wanting to create like this lava lamp effect since like last Halloween because I actually bought like this glow in the dark x sxc poly gel kit that I still haven't even opened just because I was waiting to like create um her lava lamp nails she did one before I forgot what the theme was but it was also lava lamp and I wanted to create that with that poly gel kit but I just never really got to it so that poly gel kit never ended up getting open um, but yeah, this was very difficult to do for me. Hers looks so good. I really commend her for it. But I'm going to try my best and just create the little ghosts. And I'm going to be creating like two in each nail. I tried to make them fit. I do feel like my, mine's were a little bit big. Also, I was wondering how she got hers to fit. But I think it's just because her nails were a little bit longer. I just assume she used these tips from Secret Nail Affair since she is a brand ambassador and uses a lot of their products. I think I was having trouble with the spaces just because her nails were a little bit longer and maybe my ghosts were a little bit too big. I don't know, but I really did try my best to add the ghosts and make their bodies kind of different so it's not all the same. So yeah, that's just what I'm going to be doing and I really want to let you guys enjoy this process. So I'm just going to let this part play out until I come back to encapsulate these.
since I did show three nails, I went ahead and did my thumb and pinky off camera. I couldn't fit two on my pinkies, so I just did one bigger one, and then I also did some on my thumb as well. And now we're going to encapsulate. The clear I'm going to use is the Mia Secret Clear that I always use. And you can find this big container in my Amazon storefront that's always linked below. And I'm just going to be encapsulating these. The best way I feel like to encapsulate these and make sure that you have all of those little creases and spaces is just to work with it just a little bit wetter than usual so that the powder like just kind of sinks down into it and then smooth out the top. I'm also going to be going over the black parts as well to kind of smooth it out and then I'll file everything down once it dries. One thing about the filing part on my first set is that I think it was just because like the temperature in my room, like the black powder wasn't really drying as well as it should. So once I went into file, I was kind of like filing away. It was like really, really gummy and it was very difficult to file. I was filing through like the gel polish that I added, the glitters, and like it was just looking like so spotty. So I had to kind of fix it, which made it look like so uneven in some parts. So yeah, I just really made sure to encapsulate all of my black. I made sure to let these completely dry. And then I went in with my encapsulation. I made sure that one dried very well as well. I did wait a little bit longer than usual. Watching me encapsulate these nails is just so satisfying because like just seeing like that entire middle nail just be like encapsulated and just even out to the black part. Even though I am going to go over the entire nail, but like filling in that space first is just like so satisfying. So yeah, that's just what I'm going to be doing to finish off this nail set for the encapsulation part. And I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this process since it is simple and it's just encapsulating. So this is what it looks like now that I have encapsulated all of my nails. Some of them look a little bit bulky, but that is just because I wanted to make sure I had everything covered and encapsulated. Just finished doing my thumb. As you can see, it's still wet. And yeah, I'm going to let these dry a little bit longer than usual just to make sure that they are completely dry. Once I did, I shaped and filed off camera. It was so easy to shape and file these. I really love shaping the little nails because like it takes less effort than like coughing or squaring. And now I'm just going to go in with some black gel paint. I'm also using her brush as well. These are from Nails by Deb. Um, I'm just going to be creating like the little ghost face on there. And it's just simply adding like little dots for the eyes and also mouth. When it came to doing the faces, I tried to make the dots kind of different sizes to kind of give them more character and different facial expressions. Like for the mouth, some of them may be elongated to kind of give like that really um traditional like boo effect of the ghost but yeah that's just what i'm going to be doing to finish off this nail set and i'm just going to let you guys enjoy this process
now that I have my ghost faces on and they look very very spooky I cured them for 60 seconds in my nail light and I'm just gonna top all of my nails off with my glossy top coat from Not Polish And then also we have to add some cuticle oil to re-nourish my cuticles. Once I was done rubbing that in, here is how the finished set looks. I really love my second set so much more. Um, I'll put like a picture up like side by side just to show you guys what the first set looks like because I did take pictures until I realized I wanted to recreate them. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I really enjoyed recreating these from Maria Bello. Um, I will leave her Instagram name right here if you want to go check out hers and follow her. I'm pretty sure she has a lot of nail designs that you even may want to recreate because I definitely see more that I would love to try. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed recreating these. It was so much fun. And honestly, I just cannot get over her creativity. Like, she's so talented. I mean, I hear that side by side. As you can see, like my first set, I really loved like the blue color scheme because the glow in the dark ghost does glow like purple. I feel like it would have been like better to match the blue but I just feel like the second set came out a lot cleaner without the glitter and without that blue color because I feel like the lighter color create like more of like a contrast so that you're able to see it better but yeah I feel like it was so much better and also like I said they glue they do glow in the dark so here's what the little ghost look like I was gonna change up the powder that I use for the ghost but I'm so glad that I actually stuck with the purple white glow in the dark for this set because the ghost looks so cute glowing in the dark and you can see them so clear i just think it's so fun but yeah this is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you guys think about today's nail set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye